Still, I wonder where the water went, and I wonder if there's two different versions of a zone that get that got flooded. I don't know. That'd be cool, though. Hey. Hey. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Man, look before you leap, right? Might as well, uh, take that off. Whoops. Gotta remember how to play the game, hit the wrong button. Did you just make a lash laugh? No, that's my, uh, my normal laugh? That's an Abe laugh? Who's this Mikalash you speak of? He wouldn't happen to have a cage on his head, would he? Are you trying to get to blank? I don't know, am I? I haven't been to blank. I don't know where anything is. What kind of a question is that? Are you trying to go to blank? I'm exploring! Fly mold. Whoa! There's a fly! Which one of you are real? Which one of you is the body? The body. Okay, that's, that's a pretty nifty jump. Although more likely that's a climb from the bottom as opposed to a jump from up here. Just looking, just looking. Just looking, just looking. Why, why is there a fly mold at the end of a rock passage? What does that signify? That there's flies here? Yeah, I saw them. They just look like corpses. <laughs> Every time I find one, it just kind of looks like a corpse on the ground. So I think I don't have to worry about it. Fly mold final boss prep. No, that would be uh, if you just found like rock salt. That'd be final boss prep. Very surprised it doesn't quite kill you. Oh look, fly mold. Mm. No, that's not what I wanted. Thank you. Man, the game's really bad at identifying what you intend when you were trying to change weapons. Or uh, change the handing of weapons from one handing to two handing. I would say it gets it right like 30% of the time. Uh, uh. And there's another bonfire. Sometimes this game is so weird with bonfires. Oh, uh, do you want to do an entire run from Hinterland all the way up here to the Shaman Village? Yeah, go ahead. Hey, you walk, uh, ten feet from Raycluse's River and fight five mold people? Have a bonfire. For you, bonfire. 
Were you, sir? Bonfire. Hey, wait a minute. That should do. Yeah, that worked. Well, we haven't been down there, so I imagine we will uh, we'll get down here at some point. Let's not forget about that. Uh, oh, that's our way down. Suffering ahead. Is it more fly people? <laughs> Let me guess. More fly people. Radic, welcome. How are you doing? How are you doing today? Welcome to Fly, uh, Fly Ring. Elden Fly. Pretty fly. Welcome to, uh, The Fly, with Jeff Goldblum. What are you doing, and where are you going? <laughs> okay, you're a fly, makes sense you can go over a rock like that. He's trying to attack me. They, they're, they love throwing their corpses at you. I do love that. Guess we're going down from a different direction. I would not say pretty fly says disposable. You know what? Fair enough. It's not quite going all the way down. Ah, ah, no. Ah, yes, torch attack. Heal. Why does it feel like my controller doesn't work today? Forever. The more I play, the more I am like, yeah, the inputting sucks in Elden Ring, doesn't it? Uh, you just fell down dead, dude. You were just like taking in the moonlight? Taking in the moonlight, having a wonderful time. So that's a drop down, but there's another path up here. The village of the flies. Okay. Um, why would I want to come here? This seems like not a good place to be, necessarily. Yes, I must say, I really enjoy my time at the village of the flies. They have a wonderful bed and breakfast, don't they? You wouldn't think so, but they actually make a lovely martini. Why a martini? I don't know. 
What else would they make? Coffee. <laughs> The only coffee I take is straight up the rear. <laughs> An egg sack? No, it's a rock. Why do I get the feeling there should be more egg sacks? There's not very many egg sacks. Whoa! Didn't see there. That is not who I wanted to lock onto, but that's just a dude? Why is there just a dude here? Oh, you're not a dude, you're a ghost. Not what I thought. Oh no, you're buffing the flies! Ow! Ow! Okay, you know what? Good job, you did it. You got me. Ashen Ren says, I can play with Twin Axe, Thunder, and OMG, the... Spin kill dogs are so hard, that's a big... Karma in their faces. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> big spin dog? Man fly ashes, oh, that's the reason why you come here. You can be a flymancer. Would you like to summon flies? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I thought that was a fly. It was not. The, sp the spin attack kills dogs so hard that's a big calm karma in their faces, gotcha. The Twin Axe Thunder. What is Twin Axe Thunder? What what boss weapon is that? Because I assume it is going to be a boss weapon. Why? There's nothing here. Uh-oh. He had in the early DLC from the Death Knight. Oh, that one, like the lightning spin roll thing. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I uh, haven't really used that since I picked it up, huh? Disposable says secret door? You oh, up there? Nah, I, I doubt it. Didn't even look like a door. It just looked like a wall. I imagine there's not a secret, but if there is, rip. Missed out. Rooney. Get off, get off the horse! Thank you! What? God damn, it's like... You okay? What is that area? Oh, I know exactly what this area is. There's two hippos in that area. Oh, rip, rippo. Rippo the Hippo. What do you have to say? Traitor ahead. What does that mean? Have 60 faith, it's so good, says <laughs> Shinran. Bard says, I didn't see 1.6 million messages around it, probably not a door. Well, not only that, but there's also not a message that says no liar ahead, which means that there's a door. <laughs> You can't rely on a message saying that there's a hidden door. There has to be a message saying, no, the guy's not lying. There actually is a hidden door. Then you know there's a hidden door.
then and only then can a hidden door be. Where are we going? No, 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 no. Go for that one. No, that one. No. <sighs> Thank you. Sometimes the target lock, lock is jank too. Whack everywhere just to be sure. Well, that's what this is for. No need to whack. Lol. There's always a need to whack. Where the hell are we? No death. Hidden path ahead. Jumping! Do it! Hidden path ahead, all the more bravery. This doesn't always work, by the way. I'm gonna say no on that one. <gasps> it's a dungeon! Hallelujah, it's been so long. Why are you here? Why are, how, how is the militia here? Well, it kind of hit him. Oh no, you got me. Why is the militia everywhere? <laughs> I guess is the underlying question. There's nothing here for them to militia. Get off the horse. Shadow militiamen. Well, what are they gonna shadow militia? There's no one to like rob. I don't know. I always think of them as just like highway robbers, but like, what what are they guarding? Who who's paying them to be here? I'm still waiting for a coffin to climb in too. We had a coffin to climb in. It's what led down here to the watering hole, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why is it so dark and foggy and spooky? Certain grave robber you might be lurking about. You know what? Touche, touche. Waiting for an unsuspecting tarnish with 600,000 ruins to kill. You know what? That's a very good point. You got me. I have no head under this. It's just a, a flat surface. Dark light catacombs. No, it's actually pretty bright light. <laughs> Whoa, this thing is deep. Lull. With how fast it moves, why is it so deep? The summoning pool is now functional. Hmm. I understand why it's called the Dark Light Catacombs now. 
Art says, this one has a rainbow so stone spot where the stones land, but the fall still kills you. That's very interesting. <laughs> light? No light. Light? No, no light? No light? I mean, actually, for atmosphere... I'll be the one with the torch. All right. Level 195. There you go. There there's the atmosphere we need. <laughs> it's so dark. <laughs> I kind of love how dark it is. Are you gonna fall in the hole? No, you just died. Are you gonna fall in the hole? Oh, come on! He gets so close! He gets so close to falling in. Oh, come on. That's getting blue balled right there. These guys are a little hard to hit with this weapon, huh? I'll do it like this. Be the death you want to see replayed. Oh, it's just not the same, is it? Be wary of left. Be wary of left. Be wary of left. Do people not have eyeballs? Have you? Is this your first time playing Elden Ring that you don't look around a corner, abuse the camera, etc., etc.? Honestly, I, I, no, I can't. I can't go through the entire area like this. As cool as that would be because it's pitch goddamn black. There's gotta be some light. I kinda wish there were no messages though because then I wouldn't be able to see anything. Can I turn off messages temporarily? I can have launch settings as play offline. I'm gonna do it. I, I want to experience this dungeon in the dark. Both literally and figuratively. So it should go offline? Yep. There we go. The true dark light. Because I do see something down there. Like, I see a bridge. Barely in the fog. And I see a little platform that I can land on. I could also use rainbow stones, but uh, again, I kind of want to do this in the dark because it is just so... cool looking. Like, this is what I like. I like the interesting dungeons that all have, like, their own unique theming or something like the theming of this one is there's no lights I like that that's cool oh <laughs> wait a minute
That's an... Okay. So, you can optionally turn on the lights. Hmm. Is there a... Like, I, I can understand it from the perspective of, uh, you know, now you don't actually need to see as much. You can uh, not equip the torch. It's so that potentially, you know, players will see, oh, there's a passage there, that's how I get down there, I gotta go back up, make some kind of like... Use the light on occasion, maybe it goes off after a while. That would be cool. That, I would like that, I would like that. Let's leave it on. Oh, hey, I, uh, I'm in the dark light catacombs. Oh hell. Wait a minute. Was that door always there? The other question is, maybe it changes the dungeon. Or maybe this wall wasn't here, or maybe it was here, and... I just didn't notice, or maybe I used the Margit Shackle and it made it spawn. I don't know. I literally don't know. I'm gonna turn it back on. You're gonna see me hitting that switch a couple of times more, I think. Because we can jump out onto the balcony. That was the upper balcony. But... It's also this. A dark... Another part of the dungeon. I do like that you do get a little bit of of light out of these. Oh, you you lived? Apparently, it didn't even hit you at all. I need to put uh, no skill on these so that I can one hand to use my uh, my sword attack. We'll uh, maybe go back up to the bonfire in a second because this should be near, oh no, 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 no. Not near the end. But you hurt so much. Darkest dungeon, yeah. <laughs> Pitch black mode engaged. Black is pitch. Ah, you would come over here to sneak attack that guy by just dropping down from the upper area, which does have a chest in it, which we do need to get to. And this leads down to phase two of the dungeon. That's a good idea to do pitch black darkest dungeon run? No. No, 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 I think, uh, I think, how about not? How about no? Okay, so gotta go get, gotta go get that chest now. Is this sentry torch? Yeah, it is. How many, uh, how many, um, no skill ashes do you get? Uh, no, not ashes, war. I only have one. Might not want to put it on the sentry torch because it is the heaviest of the basic torches. So this light, it looks like it's just going to be on forever, which is fine. Radiant Amber Medallion plus three. Vastly increased, boosts by the utmost your stamina by a whole two over the previous version. Wow. What science hath wrought?
I like the look of that light, too. And now, darkest holds dominion, black as death. There you go. And then you're at, uh, uh, 76 light, you use a torch. The match is struck. The, the match, the match is, the match is struck. It's like, yes, I know. The way forward is lit. The path is clear, etc., etc. I get it. I'm gonna ash this dang old torch. Oh, we can't do it on the sentry torch, which is fine. We'll do it on this torch and put no skill on it. And also, uh, one of my watchdog swords I never did. Oh, because I took crag blade off of it. That's right. Um, put crag blade back on it. You have one of each. Eruption, crag blade, why not? Uh, Milady, I want. I mean, the actually the default from Milady is pretty good, but I can't. Oh, I do have impaling thrust. We can put impaling thrust on it, and then uh, also give it like you know fire. Correct. Paling Thrust is pretty good. All right, and then we'll replace this torch with this one. There you go. This lets, by putting no skill on this torch and by holding it, I can use the weapon art from the sword. Mesmer's flame. Still haven't fought him yet. Got to do it one of these days. Ugh. I'm okay. Oh, God. I thought you were a statue. This is the wrong direction. Wait a minute. Scared the hell out of me. That scared the hell out of me. Down here. Looks like that pot's got an eyeball. Whose job is it to light those candles? We could also go through it with only this light, but I think everyone would hate me if I did that. So there's an item over there. There's another ledge. An enemy. It's just another jumpy. The jumpy who's not jumping is no jumpy at all. Would you look at that? A little hole in the railing. Saying go that way. A ladder up. Dude, I like this dungeon. I really do. I like themed dungeons. They're so much fun. I mean, I'll, I'll actually be honest with you. I think that these dungeons are like the best thing in the game. <laughs> Cause they're, each one is a, its own unique challenge. They're so good. You can climb ladders? Get back down there. 
to you. Another one? Maybe that's just the uh, sound of my torch crackalackling. That's a big leap. And there's two of them. Like, yep. Shotgun blast, shotgun blast, shotgun blast. Hey. Miss me. Miss me. All right. Um, I think I just skipped the entirety of that level of the dungeon. <laughs> I'll, I'll go back, but we can also go forward and then come back. I should also be looking ahead in case there's a jump, but... Ah, it's like daylight in here. We got a checkpoint. That's something. <gasps> Maybe if we snack. No, 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 snack. There you go. Ugh. I see. It's got a little bit of an arc on it, huh? Okay. Anything back here? Whew. Oh good, there's a small one down behind you. Because of course that is. Well, this is fun. <laughs> Hi. Okay. You can't hit me in here. Well. Try ranged battle. That would get so many up dudes. But I don't want to try ranged battle. I want to... There's no other way of getting to him. You have to use range to take him out, huh? Unless there's a... Uh, a ladder on the other side? Which I guess there could be. There's no ladder. There's stairs, though. I think, uh, yeah, I think you have to use range to take him out now that I look at it. I was kind of, it, you know what I was hoping for? A switch that would cause like a crush trap to just slaughter him. 
Looks like we might have to do something like this. That did not work. I wonder if this will hit. No, too high up. What else do we have? I have rejection. Did this really not work? Hold on, try it again. I guess lightning doesn't go that high. Could you stop? Oh my god, I'm gonna run out of mana before I hit him with anything. How is how does none of this stuff hit? Does it really just like not work underground? All right, you know what? Screw you. Might be a bit of a slow gun. I gotta upgrade this thing. 300 and something odd damage is not good enough. Oh my god, the peace and quiet. <laughs> a hiccup, excuse me. Ahem. Ahem. All right. I want to get the imp mask that throws things. All right. Ah! I was wondering. First of all, what? I can't get the item. Is this one that's on a timer? Man, I really hope so. Um, well, I think this will work. God, I should have. Yeah, oh, you don't have the right. Damn it. Ah, uh, okay. What? Where'd it go? What? He dropped something and I didn't get it. No! Oh, God. I really thought it would load and then make it fall, but I guess not. So whatever that is or whatever that was, we're going to have to come back down and get it again. Imagine that. Big Mouth Imp Ashes. Oh, God, yes. Is it the big boy? Looks like a small boy. The spirit of this old imp said to be fashioned after a dragon has a big mouth that serves as a cannon and allows it to fire shells from the rear of the battlefield. Bard says great glove ward. If that's all it was, then yeah, I'm not that interested. But um, it's weird that I couldn't get the item. Glove Ward 4. By the way, that was uh, something else that I was interested in, which is will the switches change the dungeon? And it will. Now, that being said, 
if we raise the platform again, there's probably something under there, don't you think? So let's raise the platform and then look under it. Can't help but notice the platform is not raising. Wait a minute. No. Because I, I, if it was up, I was going to wonder if there was a, like, passageway here. But if the platform doesn't raise, then maybe there isn't a passageway there. Hmm. I don't know. I hope, I, I hope I'm not missing something. It, it would be weird to miss something permanently. Maybe if I go around, we can like trigger it somehow. Milk Jug, hello. Welcome to some Ring of Elden. I can't get it to I can't get it to go up again. I'll try the shackle. No, I didn't do it. Hm. Well, yeah, I hope I hope there was no item over there. Okay. This is a four level dungeon? Jesus. Just keeps going. A huge dungeon. Also seems to be getting lighter as we get deeper, which doesn't really make a lot of sense. There's a second summoning pool at the bottom. All right, and now this is where this is where we take bets because if there is something that I don't like about these dungeons is that they seem to just have random bosses. Sometimes it's thematic, like the imp Watchdog. Sometimes it's a tree spirit dragon thing. Sometimes it's just a dude with a halberd. So what do you think is it going to be this time? Is it going to be the weird black bleed stabby ghost? Is it going to be a phantom? Taking all bets. Taking all bets. My money what was up with my foot there. My money is on two cannon dudes in the back corner and then two watchdogs. That's my bet. Ashran Man says Death Knight. Milk Jug says a tree spirit imp with a halberd. Harrison just says it sucks. Whatever it is. Probably, probably. Let me equip this. Alright, what are you? Yori Elder Inquisitor and we're outside. What the hell? This is what I mean by random. What is this? No time. No time for a... Uh summon things. No time for a crit in there for some reason. We're probably going to get those ashes if I had to guess. Another frog. Ugh. No, we've already seen this guy. 
I've already fought him before. Well, I don't think anyone won the bet this time around. Oh my god. That's gonna hurt. God, just spam summons, huh? I can't even like lock onto this guy most of the time because he's a jerk. Just kill him. I'm out of heals. Crap. I only need to hit him one more time. I just have to find him wherever he went. What the hell is this? What is this? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I was close with tree spirit, says Milk Jug. It was a dude that fires magic. There are trees, I suppose. The barbed staff spear. Great staff of Yori, the Elder Inquisitor. The tip bristles with golden barbs, symbolic of the Inquisition's torture, allowing one to wield the staff as a great spear. Attack does holy damage. Thrust the great staff into the air, firing off a succession of golden barb-like arcs. Holding the button down extends the barrage oh. for a shorter duration. You can use your horse in the next area. This is like, this is a part of the map I've never been to before, and we're finally getting there? This is how you get to this unknown place in the map? Jesus, I didn't expect this through a dungeon either. But this is, this is something I'm, I'm, I like. I like this, because I did not expect this. This is the first time the game has actually like surprised me in a while. You definitely can do this. Like, what is this? It waits inside. Well, that's menacing. And very freaking cool. Yeah, I like this. I love this. I did not anticipate this at all. And of course, it's the one time I, I point out just how, like, random and boring the dungeon bosses are. But this is random and boring in the good way. <laughs> it's not boring. It's random. It's random and not boring at all. Okay. That's cool. I I am going to go through the dungeon again, though, because I did miss quite a lot. Yeah, I could, I could see that boss taking a few tries, though, because it is very spam heavy. The summons don't last forever, which is nice, but uh, they do still last more than uh, you would like, huh? Okay, basically everything in the second level, not, not this way, everything, everything in the second level of this dungeon, I missed. So we're gonna take a look at this stuff. Physics. Wow, mage spammer. He did spam a lot of mage spells, huh? I'm uh, honestly surprised that you can just basically skip the entire part of the dungeon and just be like, nah, I want to get to the end. I have any of those. So we can drop down. Let's do that. Why would we do that? There's a ladder. Okay.
can't drop down again. Oh, you can drop down again. Look at that. Okay. Still don't know really why there was an Inquisitor there, but maybe all will be revealed. Ah, hello! You just smacked me with your stick. Jedi Realm Rune, and he is dead. Hi ho, he is dead. All right. You know what? Let's do something I've not done this entire game. What? <laughs> this must be the spot. <laughs> this must be the spot. There's just a death wall there. Boo. Boo. Thumbs down. Thumbs down. Come on. I didn't I didn't even think about it. It didn't even cross my mind that there would be a death wall there. Hey, let's make a dark dungeon with platforms you have to fall down on. Pfft, well, not like that. What are you, stupid? I warned just as Bard. Well, you did, but also, like, that's just root of the game. I thought it would be obvious. Like, oh, well, of course you can't fall on that. I don't know why people would try to jump onto it. But no, this is like, it's, I could make that jump. I'm not even a Tarnished. Why was he looking at the wall? Dumb. Dumb dude. Death Knight Helm, Armor, Gauntlets, and Greaves. Golden Helm of the Death Knights, whose own death masks served as the wizards of their armor. Wizards? Is that like gizzards? Enhances skills and incantations of ancient dragon cult. Ooh. Really? All four pieces of the armor set? Hmm. Unbroken loyalty to Godwin, Prince of Death. Oh. Why did I why did I walk that fast? My controller broken? I a lot of like is my controller broken, but like I think maybe I've dropped this on the ground one too many times, you know? Starting to starting to feel that way. So, so why is there a roof here? Just a a obvious roof that I slide off of. Why are you here? Hi. So I know who you are. Another one? There must have been just his body flopping over on the ground like a dead fish. For secrets. 
Bear helmet, imp head, now this. Was there something else too? I mean, you see what it looks like. <coughs> what the hell? <laughs> I was coughing here. <coughs> Damn, imp. <coughs> fire perfume bottle lights the way. I'm gonna be honest with you, eyeshadows. I think I've missed the fire perfume bottle. I have no idea where it is. I did not get it. If you want to tell me where it is, I'll be more than happy to grab it, because I think that's a cool item. But... I've got these ones. I've got lightning, chilling, and deadly. If there's a fire one, I have no idea where it is. Well, I know that there's a fire one. There's a fire one, and... Uh, what the heck? Keyboard turned, uh, turned the sound down. There's a fire one, and there's another one? Art says you're missing two fire ones. What do you mean two fire ones? If, if it's ahead of me, then I don't want to know. But if it's behind me, I kind of do want to know so I can try to find it. Because it's probably somewhere. There's an ailment bottle. Ailment? What the hell is an ailment? Oh, this turns on the lights. This is nothing. All right, let's go turn on the lights. Maybe we can try to figure out exactly what we're missing. If anything. I th I think I got all of the items from the third level. Well, except for whatever the big guy dropped. He might have respawned at this point. We went up there. We can't go down there for some reason. So we're just we're just good to go then? Yeah. Like, turning on the lights is fine and all, but it doesn't seem to actually, like, help with anything. Why did you backstep? That's what I mean by, like, the control inputs are garbage. Like, how did I, how did I backstep? That's such a weird one. All right, I wanna see if we can get, go get that item and then we will move on down the horrible, horrible uh, path that we're on. And there's still a whole lot up here to explore because I didn't go down and explore this area. I went into a dungeon. He did respawn. And, can't help but notice. There it is, great, uh, great glove war, you are correct. Can't help but notice the bridge is still down, which Just makes me really hope, makes me really hope. That there is nothing secret down here. Because the bridge does not go up again. Sorry, not the bridge. The platform doesn't go up again. I hope there was nothing behind it. Art says he missed nothing. I hope that's the case. 
Not perfume bottle, it's a lantern, says eyeshadows. I do have eyeshadows. I do have. The lamenting visage. I have that head. That is what you were referring to. But if there's another lantern, I definitely have missed that one. Can we purchase from the isolated merchant in the Weeping Peninsula? Like, in the base game? Wait a minute, Weeping Peninsula, is that down here? Isolated Merchant Shack? There's a lan- a lantern I didn't buy? <laughs> Pardon? You know what? Lantern is a tool in Elden Ring. Lanterns can be attached to the waist of the player. Uh, you mean this? What are you talking about, eyeshadows? I am, I am just like deeply confused. Is there or is there not a perfume bottle somewhere that I have missed? That, let's, let's start there. <laughs> Why are you using a torch though? Aesthetics. Also, when you use a torch, you get more light, so. Am I, yeah, I might have missed two. In which case, I'll have to uh, get a little bit of help, probably, to, uh, to find the ones that I missed. This might be the, uh, the super spooky forest. Tool called perfume. A tool called? We'll figure it out. You know, maybe we'll figure it out right now. Hey, Bard, where is the fire perfume bottle? Don't make me look it up. <laughs> Where's the fire perfume one? Confused why you didn't use the lantern. I, I was doing it for aesthetic purposes. I wanted the, the torch, the manual use of it. Where's, where's the, so, okay, where's the fire perfume bottle? People have said that's the first one you find. So if it's the first one you find, I missed it. Is it in Castle Front? Because there is like a fire encampment here, kind of. A Mesmer encampment. It is here, okay. Yeah, I'm, I must have missed it. Let's go grab it real quick by the perfumers and mesmer soldiers. I think I know exactly where that is. Oh, right, I forgot about the horrible lag. We're talking about Mesmer, oh, dude, right there. Knock it off. Fire spark perfume bottle. There you go, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I, uh, I did explore this. I must have just missed the chest. All right. This is one where, uh, when I was coming through this area, I wasn't, my old builds, mostly strength, and I believe this is a, it's a dex scaling one. Isn't there a strength scaling one? I thought there was a strength scaling one. The crusade was a violent purge and the perfumers were not called there to heal. I don't know why I upgraded the first one I found, the poison one. Like, who cares? <laughs> I guess it had the 69 poison buildup. Perfumed oil is the tool on the island far south. Here? I'm pretty sure I have that. I don't know. All right, well, you know what? Mission accomplished. 